Hello, YouTube. It's the Utopian Buddha. I'm here with my grandmother. Say hi, Omaji. Hi. <laughs> so I we're. Don't want it okay, okay. She's not, she's not going to tell the story, but she's been telling me the story about her father. Okay, and her father, um, my great grandfather. This, this is my grandmother. His parents, my great great grandparents, died when my great grandfather was only eight years old. So then my. At eight years old, my great-grandfather was completely uneducated, poor, homeless. He came to the city, came to Bangalore, right? Yeah. He came to Bangalore, had no food. And what he was doing was he was, um, the food that other people threw out, tamarind, the food that other people threw out it as... It is not a food. It is a, tamarind is a, the, which we use for the cooking and all, you know. Yes. Thing. Okay, so tamarind that we use for cooking, it's like a spice, right? Yeah. It's a spice. So, so the bad tamarind that pe other people didn't use, my great grandfather, in order to eat, clean the tamarind, and that's very difficult, right? Clean means it pick out the nice, what not we call. Pick out the bad stuff, the stuff that's unedible, and he would sell the tamarind um, to make some money so he could eat. And then some some good man saw how hard my grandmother, my grandfather, my great grandfather was working to eat as a child. He gave him. A, a little a little job at a store right as a, as a merchant right selling little things right yeah and then over time my great grandfather grew older and then the same man said you know i will invest in you um whatever whatever profits you make you can keep for yourself and just give me whatever investment that i invested in you so my great grandfather worked hard for many years he became a very prosperous merchant right yeah that's enough for today no, no, that. Uh, and he became a very prosperous merchant. And once he he opened up many, many stores and things. One store, not many. many. One store. He opened a one store, uh -huh. which was very prosperous. Uh -huh. He invested. He invested on the lands and all that. Is okay, so he opened up very, one small store. What did he sell in this store? Uh, in the beginning, all the types of grains. Grains, food, farm produce. Yeah, farm produces. And then he invest. Then he uh, made money, invested in land. In the later, he went into the rice merchant. He was a rice merchant. Rice merchant. So he went. He expanded, diversified his portfolio, went into other businesses, and when he became rich, he didn't just keep the money for himself. He helped other poor students, right? Yeah, he. He gave scholarships anyway. to students. He helped other people. Give people jobs. So, so that's this is the Indian dream. You know, they call it the American dream. But my great grandfather lived the Indian dream. He started with nothing. His parents died early. You know, started from the bottom. Started from the very bottom, a place that I can't even imagine. Right? I've had supportive parents my whole life, well into my thirties. So I'm so blessed, and I'm very grateful to my great grandfather and my grandmother and my parents to to be you know to give me this foundation so I can you know mess up as much as I've messed up, and then hopefully I can do something good with my life and help help other children, right? Like I donate the profits of my book to feeding kids. I guess I'm living, I'm trying to channel the energy of my great grandfather and live in his image, you know, live up to his image, right? Right, Omaji? Okay, and sure it is good. <laughs> I'm trying though, you know, I messed up though. I, I had my parents till I was 30, you know, my great grandfather, he lost his parents when he was eight and he still made it, you know? So I'm like way behind, dude. I'm way, way behind, but that's okay.